Our research at the University of East Anglia is all about the ocean's role in climate. For example, what drives ocean currents like the Gulf Stream and what might cause these ocean currents to change in the future. We're trying to understand weather, but in the oceans. If you've ever been swimming in the sea, you'll know that the water tastes salty. But the amount of saltiness, which we call salinity, varies a lot from place to place and from time to time. Some oceans are very salty, like the Mediterranean Sea. Others are fresh, like our polar oceans. This is due to the different kind of climate we have in these regions. One could say different kind of weather in these areas. In warm, dry regions, like our favorite beach holidays, lots of evaporation from the ocean is leaving the salt behind. In other areas, with lots of rain, salinity decreases because water is added. These variations are extremely interesting for us as oceanographers. Ocean currents move waters from low salinity regions into regions with higher salinity. In fact, the salinity differences help to drive these currents. In other words, salinity is the one thing that drives the weather in the oceans. You could say a pinch of salt makes the ocean go round. Those ocean currents in turn affect the climate we experience. That's one reason why Europe is much warmer than Canada, despite being as far north. Our climate is changing and the climate of the ocean is changing too. And scientists recently found that the ocean is the main reason that the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica have begun to melt faster and faster. Where these ice sheets meet the ocean and float over the ocean as ice shelves, the ocean melts the ice. The more you melt the ice where it floats, the faster the glacier floats toward the sea. This is an important process adding water to the oceans and causes sea level rise, but also changing the salinity and changing the ocean currents. At UEA we are using an instrument called a sea glider to study how the salinity of the ocean changes during the year. A sea glider is an ocean robot patrolling the ocean like a mechanical fish. It doesn't have a propeller, but it has a battery that pumps oil between two compartments to change its density. This makes the sea glider go up and down between the sea surface and one kilometer down in the ocean. By rolling from one side to the other, the sea glider uses its wings like an aircraft does, to turn to the left or to the right. Every time the sea glider comes to the sea surface, it puts its antenna out of the water and phones home via satellite, sending back its location and the data just collected. Meanwhile, at university, we can see the data on our computers and we tell the sea glider where to go next. Gliders are very good at measuring the salinity and the temperature of the seawater, day in, day out, even in winter and in rough weather. We have two sea gliders in the North Atlantic at the moment, helping us to understand the physics of what happens to the ocean when a big storm comes through. When it's very sunny in summer, the water near the surface is a lot warmer than down below. You form several layers of different temperature water in the oceans. It is like in this glass of coffee. You have warm water over colder water. And we are interested how strong winds stir up the upper ocean layers and mix the two layers or mix colder water from below into the upper layer. We are interested how this process varies from year to year, from season to season. We're using the sea gliders to understand these ocean processes over a whole year. The knowledge that we gain will be very useful for improving the accuracy of our weather and climate forecasts.